Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan, and I'm talking about something that became very true for me, and that is throttle control, SR1. What an SR1 is, for you guys who have never listened to Keith Code or didn't know who he is, that is the Viable Reaction 1, that is throttle control. It's very important to have good throttle control, and the reason being is because good throttle control equals predictability, good traction, good suspension, everything works right. So if you have bad throttle control and you're choppy with the gas and everything else, then the bike doesn't work as well. So you can see here in this lap right here, my throttle control is actually out of timing. My I wasn't getting on the gas until way after the apex, which is not good. I should have been on the gas earlier. And as soon as the steering input was made, it should have been on the gas. So it should have been smoothly, completely to the remainder of the turn, I should have been on the gas. Not a lot of gas, you don't have to be gas greedy and trying to go full throttle, but I definitely should have seen the tack rise as I'm going through the turn. Right here is a little bit better, but I'm still out of timing. I'm making this video for you guys to see that no matter if I'm in track riding or racing or street riding, odds are throttle control is probably not as good as you think it is, and that goes for me too. And it doesn't apply just for the track, it applies to the street. And right here you're going to see good examples of me not doing good throttle control. And it just happens and something I'm going to work on. Right here I should be on the gas earlier, but I didn't. I got on the gas way too late. Again, timing's off. And the, the smoothest of the gas is on, but it's just not at the right time. Definitely a street technique. It's definitely a motorcycle technique. And it definitely should be practiced consciously on a regular basis because this right here is going to stop you from high sighting and low sighting and it's just going to create a more enjoyable motorcycle experience. Here you can see me doing a little bit better. My timing's gotten a lot better on it. The results of me rolling on smoother is a more stable bike, more confidence in the corners, better lean angles, and faster lap times. The timing still isn't perfect, but it's way better than it was and it gave me way more speed throughout the whole course of the track. And that's the benefits of having the timing on and having the roll on smooth and doing it right is that the whole bike just works so much better and it's way more predictable and it's just a very enjoyable experience if you do it right. Thanks for watching. My name is Rhino Dan. I hope you guys have a nice day.